delicious top quality canned vegetables. Pick the best. Pick Chivers. Hello and welcome to St. Augustine's College in Dungarvan for the Silvermint's All-Ireland Colleges Cross-Country Championships. Very big occasion for the colleges and for the athletes and plenty of them, over 600 young athletes here at Dungarvan. So let's go over for the start of the very first race on the program, that's the Junior Girls 1500 metres and we join George Hamilton. Competitors in this all under 15 years of age, there are three teams of eight representing each province, so that's 12 teams in all. There in the shoots, these are the individual athletes. And off they go on one lap of the course, just 1,500 metres. Well, while we've seen the junior girls on their way, the Silvermint's involvement in Irish colleges athletics goes back a long way, 25 years in fact, and one of the very first winners of the uh, athlete of the Year Award was an athlete who went on to greater things after that. That was Frank Murphy. And Frank, you've come for this year's championships. Yeah. A great occasion for the young It's kids. fantastic, really. Um, I, I was down here a few weeks ago for the Munster Championships, and I hadn't been around the cross-country scene for quite a while, and I was surprised to see so many uh, competing. And I think, you know, today you're going to see a lot of the, the future stars of Irish athletics, um, both, you know, at um, well, the juniors and the seniors, they're going to go on to greater things. Well, when you started out in those dear and distant days, <laughs> you had no ideas of running for Ireland in the Olympics, you had no ideas of European championships or three A's championships or anything? None at all, no. I think you build up your goals, you know, first of all, you want to achieve, you know, like, you know, the kids today, maybe to achieve a cross-country championship or even to get on a winning team and then you, you graduate from there to national championships and then you start thinking about European championships and representing your country then at the Olympics. Well certainly there are great numbers here today, more than in your day perhaps. Oh there are of course, you know, it's um, I think uh, Silvermint uh, should be um, should be uh, congratulated on, on, on getting this, uh, this type of event together and I think um, over the years that they've been putting in quite a lot of money in, into the sport and I think it's a great thing, especially uh, because without without junior uh, and school boy, uh, school boy and school girl athletics, you don't have senior athletics. So I think it's a great start. And at the end of the 1500 metres, Kay Flannery of St. Louis in Monaghan came battling home to take first place. In second, Susan Murphy from Blarney. And Michaela Maloney of Kilmallock in Limerick came in third. And there's the confirmation. Kay Flannery's time, 5 minutes 51 seconds. Just a second to spare over Susan Murphy and Michaela Maloney in third. Second and third, both individual runners. But in the team event, helped by Kay Flannery's performance, St. Louis of Monaghan came home first. The lower the points, the better placed you are. Second place, St. Mary's of Charleville. And third, Thurless Vocational School. But undoubtedly, one of the closest of competitions you'll see. Now the junior boys, 3,000 metres. In the first lap of the wine singlet, Dermot O'Sullivan in the lead from Anthony Hampson of Sligo, Tommy Thompson of Limerick just behind him, and in the yellow singlet, John Bradshaw from Dromore in County Down. And at the finish, Dermot O'Sullivan of James Street CBS, the winner, and very well clear of the rest of the field. Second place, Anthony Hampson of Summerhill College in Sligo with Tommy Thompson of Limerick CBS in third. 10 minutes, 41 seconds, Dermot O'Sullivan's time. Hampson, 10 seconds behind him. And Tommy Thompson, a further three seconds behind him. And St. Aidan CBS, the winners in the Junior Boys 3000 metres team competition from Thurlis CBS. Leak Slip Community School in third, but a very convincing win for St. Aidan's. The intermediate girls race shortly after the start. The leading group, Breda Gaffney on the right there, number 49. Yvonne O'Connor on the left of picture. In the blue, it's Geraldine Lynch, and in the red, Anne Power. The two girls from St. Mary's Charleville in the lead at the moment. Breda Gaffney and Yvonne O'Connor. And already Breda Gaffney has set the pace. 
Notice the bare feet, conditions in the picturesque grounds of St. Augustine's College in Dungarvan, eminently suitable for barefoot running, relatively dry, and a relatively flat course. Girls from 15 to 17 years of age taking part in this. O'Connor chasing Gaffney. And then in the green, it's Natalie Davy. Number seven there, Anne-Marie Hines of Chewham. The field really strung out. And the lead for Breda Gaffney now is considerable. But this is a difficult point of the course. Up the hill, and the lead getting ever greater. Come on, it's Natalie Davy in green and power in red. Yvonne O'Connor overtaken by Natalie Davy and by Anne Power too. Geraldine Lynch just disappearing from the leading group. Rita Gaffney still in the lead though and the lead increasing all the time. Second place it's Natalie Davy. Yvonne O'Connor in third with Anne Power in fourth. Anne-Marie Hines of Chewham, level with Linda Hayes of Kilcullen for the next place. Breda Gaffney well clear coming to the finish. Now it's just a question of who's going to finish second. Linda Hayes in blue holding off Natalie Davy, but Davy looking the fresher. Rita Gaffney then of Charleville, a very comfortable winner, dominating the race from start to finish. And Anne Davy of Charlestown has taken over second place with Linda Hayes from the Cross and Passion in Kilcullen having to settle for third. And there, the times 11 minutes 31 for the very convincing winner, Rita Gaffney, Natalie Davy, 26 seconds behind her. And just two seconds separating her from third place, Linda Hayes. The wind on the that long run down the back straight must have been very, very hard. Yeah, well, well it was all right, like, when there's nobody with you, like, but you know, I got on through fine. And, I, and did you feel that you were going to be caught at any stage, or were you happy enough to go out there on your own? Yeah, well, I'm used to going out on my own, but I thought they were sort of, like, saving all the time, you know, till going down there in the end. So I was knew ahead of one. Uh, and when did you feel that you had it won? Uh, well, not till I crossed the line, like, I was told that. <laughs> Rita Gaffney also led her team to victory with just 39 points, a measure of how many St. Mary's Charleville got into the leading places. Cabin Teeley Community School second and Mercy College Chewham in third place. The next race was the Intermediate Boys event over 5,000 metres, 122 starters in all, 12 school teams of eight and 26 individuals. The size of that field nearly indicative of the strength in depth of athletics in Irish schools. Slight downhill section at the start as they head off alongside Dungarvan Bay. Early in the first lap, Eddie Burke of Boris O'Lee moved into the lead. John Murray of Rathlurk in second place and from Coleraine Inst, Philip Pollard in third. But Burke's pace a strong one and the field well strung out. And by the end of the first lap, quite a few were beginning to feel that pace. Lap three, some outstanding scenery in Dungarvan. Still though, it's Eddie Burke, the man to look at, well into the lead. Burke looking comfortable, having stretched the distance between him and the second place runner, John Murray of Rathlurk. Murray finding the strength of the bigger boy hard to cope with. Still going well behind the leaders, Nigel Bruton of Prez Bray, Cahal O'Nation of Coloche de Christry in Cork, and Brian Conway of St. Malachy's in Belfast. But it's Eddie Burke of Boris O'Lee who wins the race. 
behind him in second place John Murray of Rath Lurk and a considerable distance between first and second reflected in their respective times 15.42 for Eddie Burke, 16 minutes dead, so 18 seconds between them. John Murray in second place, and Brian Conway of St. Malachy's in Belfast in third. You must be very pleased with the way you ran that one. I'm very pleased there. Yeah. And it kept, from the word go, you were more or less determined to go out in front. I was, yes. I said I'd go at the start. Give, my, give it my best. And what about the opposition? Had you anyone in mind that uh, might be a big danger? Um, well, I thought Paul Logan might run, but um, he's going to New Zealand. Or else, or else, no one else. And with him out of the field, you reckon your chances were pretty good? Um, yeah, there were a few others, but I thought I'd do well there. Individuals took first and second places, so the team result has a different kind of look to it. Carmelite Moat, the winners from St. Aidan's CBS, with Coleraine Inst in third place. Senior girls now, over 2,000 metres, just once round the long course, and lots of pushing and pumping at the start in the field of 116 athletes. Early on, it's Katrina McKiernan, an 18-year-old from Loretto and Cavan, a previous Ulster champion who set the pace. And the lead she's built up was particularly dominating. The rest of the field just chasing. into the finishing straight the barefooted runner was safe but there was quite a battle on for second and third place between Mairead Looney from St Aloysius in Cork and Sinead Delahunty from Presentation in Kilkenny but McKiernan came home first Looney held on for second place and Delahunty was third as you see the real battle was for the minor placings just a second between Mairead and Sinead but total dominance from Katrina McKiernan a winning time of six minutes and nine seconds and a barefoot runner at that. Was it not sore or did your feet not get tired? No, it wasn't sore at all. It just, you know, I felt my feet felt far lighter in that. I had whole control of myself compared to if I had spikes on, I'd feel them clabby or that. <laughs> well, it certainly didn't do you any harm because you held your form all the way, all the way through. Yes, well, I just came. I didn't come here. I didn't know how I'd do or anything. I hoped to come in the first five and then just during the race I broke away from them and no one came after me and just ran my own race after that. Team results showing a fair geographical spread, Ennis Vocational School winning it, two Leinster schools in second and third, Greendale Community School and Our Ladies Grove from Goatstown. The senior boys event was the final race of the day, 7,000 metres, individuals starting on the left and having to make up the ground to get among the team runners who started from shoots, giving them the inside rail. And again, a big field setting off on the race. On the first lap, Dermot Moore from Galway leading, Declan Donnelly of LaSalle Belfast, and then John Maloney of Limerick and Pat Maher of Donaghy CBS on the tail of Moore. Still in the first lap, but now it's Declan Donnelly with Sean O'Connor of Limerick in second and Justin Reid of Campbell College, Belfast, with Pat Maher in touch with the dominating group. And as the race developed, the lead changed throughout, but it still was much the same group. Jerry Toomey of Rath Lurk has joined them with Cormac Finnerty from Mullingar, Sean O'Connor from St. Munchens, and behind them, Declan Donnelly from Belfast, Pat Maher and Justin Reid too. And bringing up the rear of the group, Damien Bates from Inchicore. Into the closing stages and Pat Maher of Donaghy's has made a break, but look, he's worried. And here's the reason why. Jerry Toomey of Rath Lurk has found another gear and he's going after the leader. And what a battle as they entered the final 
few hundred meters of the race with Toomey taking over from Pat Maher whose effort is all spent Jerry Toomey of Rathlerk running away to take the title in the senior boys event victory then for Toomey of Rathlerk and Pat Maher of Donaghy's in second place well Toomey well spent and Pat Maher having felt the strain as well and in third place Sean O'Connor from St Munchens in Limerick the winner's time 21 minutes 24 seconds 6 seconds to spare on Pat Maher but what a good race that turned out to be you were in the leading group pretty well all the way but did, did you think that you may have lost it about 500 metres from the end um, yes it is he made um, Pat Maher from the Honeys made a fairly strong break but 500 metres ago I thought he had it like he's pushing it my way but I just kept going like and a bit of termination got me in the end I just put in a good sprint finish and luckily I just won you had a look around I noticed to see was there anyone close yes, to was, you I was fairly hurt in that stage but I, had, you, had you settled for second place then yes I think well I did actually but I saw him he was a bit tiring he kept looking back so I thought that was a good kind of thing so I made a go from just luckily it paid off both first and second ran as individuals, which left the way clear for the team winners, St. Munchens, to take that title. St. Munchens of Limerick, St. Benildas of Dublin in second place. And third, LaSalle, who'd made the trip from Belfast. Uh, Father Liam Kelleher, editor of Marathon Magazine, festooned with cameras and so on. A uh, pretty good day, I'd say. Overall, the organisation was magnificent. I wasn't too worried about the cameras in the magazine today yeah. because we had so many athletes that I'm involved with in schools competing, and they had an excellent day. I think a first, a second, a third, a fourth, and two team prizes from the schools I've been involved with, so it's pretty nice. Well, obviously, they've benefited a great deal from your own enthusiasm, but uh, looking over the championships, who are the outstanding competitors in your book? Oh, the winner of the of all the races did well, well. Eddie Burke ran a magnificent race in the intermediate, ran away from the field, even though uh, one of the athletes I was mentioning was second to him, John Murray, uh, George Toomey and Pat Maher in the um, senior race, uh, Breedy Gaffney in the intermediate. You know, the whole lot of them, it's very hard to single them out, really. But they were a marvellously organised championships and wonderfully competitive. You know, the best I think I've ever seen at college's level. And Athletics followers in Dungarvan can take in the 10k road race, the next major event there. It's on Easter Sunday. Don't forget tomorrow, Sports Stadium features the climax of the Five Nations Rugby Union Championship with Brendan O'Reilly from 10 to 1. England against Ireland is live from Twickenham, and that's followed by the Grand Slam match from Cardiff, Wales against France. And next week on Sports World, the first of Jack Charlton's friendly internationals building up to the European Championship, Ireland against Romania.